Get yourself, get yourself at that place to worship the Lord this morning. Glory to God. Get yourself at that place to worship the Lord. Let me tell you something. God has been keeping us from so much. There is so much that the enemy has been doing behind the scenes that we are not seeing. But God has been delivering us. Let me tell you something this morning as we were getting ready for church. As we were, we said that we were, you know, going to prepare in our pre-cook. And we did the peas. And as we were about to put the rice on, lift the cover off the pot. It's a glass cover. Put, lift the glass off the pot and the, 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 the pot cover just shattered. Just shattered, just like that. As we were talking about breaking some things in the atmosphere, pull the pot cover off the pot, and the pot, and the pot cover just shattered. Let me tell you something. God is breaking some things in our atmosphere. God is tearing down some things in our atmosphere, and we have to be ready to worship. We have to be ready to give the Lord glory for His works. Mighty God. Jesus. We thank you this morning. We lift you up. We lift you up. We know Rev said this morning that El Shaddai is a house built on prayer. And I'm just imploring of you this morning. I know I should not be prompting anybody. I should not be pushing anybody. I should not be talking anybody along. But I'm saying to you this morning that we are. I know we have prayed already. Oh, we said we have prayed. But I'm going to say this to you. What the Lord is saying to us this morning is, I want more. I want more. There is more that we have down inside that we are, we are not releasing. And for our breakthroughs to come, we have to dig deep down into that place and release. Glory to God. Glory to God. So this morning, as the Lord said, repent of our sins and make ourselves clean in his sanctuary this morning we are going to pray and we are going to pray from our hearts this morning i know i said pray from our hearts but you know god is saying go deeper than that we are going to pray from our toes this morning glory to god we are going to dig deep this morning glory mighty god Father God, we come before you. Mighty God, we lift you up. We honor and we adore Hallelujah. your name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord God, that you will begin to move in this house. I pray, Father God, that you will begin to move in this sanctuary. Father God, I pray that you will touch each and every individual in the house, mighty God. Mighty Father, from even the babes, Hallelujah. Lord God, Hallelujah. right up. I pray, Father God, that Holy you will God. rest your hand in the name of Jesus Christ on your people. I pray, Father God, that Lord God, your anointing Hallelujah. will move around this room in the name in of the Jesus name Christ. Of Jesus. It will begin, mighty God, to fill 
fill every lung in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ in this house. You, and that Lord God, your praise will come out, mighty God, so that your blessings, mighty God, you will release from Hallelujah. heaven. I pray, Lord God, that right now, Lord Holy God, the sanctuary, mighty God, will be saturated, mighty God, with your blood. Cause your fire, Saturate mighty God, to engulf this atmosphere. Lord God, I pray to you right now that you will take charge, Lord God, of every instrument in the house. Lord God, every device in the house, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against principalities and powers, spirit. Amen wickedness in high places rulers of darkness of this world mighty god father god every spirit that is not of you mighty god we put under subjection this morning mighty father in the name of jesus christ we pray lord god that you will begin to move in this place in the name of jesus christ i pray father god that you will begin to move round and about this place almighty god i pray father god that your fire that your fire in the name of jesus christ will come down upon your people in the name of jesus father i pray lord god that your people mighty god even those lord god that are online in the name of jesus christ will be convinced in the name of Jesus father we pray that every person that comes Lord God onto this premises today in the name of Jesus Christ will be convinced by the Holy Spirit your people mighty God will worship you your people will glorify your name mighty God every person that comes through these doors this morning in the name of Jesus Christ I pray father God that you will take charge of in the name of Jesus father I pray that right now mighty God that your fire and your blood will be a dome of protection over us father it will be the foundation on which we stand mighty father I pray that Lord God or family mighty God by extension wherever they are in the world right now in the name of Jesus Christ father that you will touch in the name of Jesus father God I pray Lord God that as you have set your people Lord God to call to be fishers of men in the name of Jesus Christ we pray father that your people will begin to work Lord God wherever they are Lord God, wherever they are placed mighty God daily working Lord God for a salary in the name of Jesus Christ I pray Lord God they will also begin to work mighty God for your reward in the name of Jesus Christ Father God, I pray that you will uh, flash your blood. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, uh, dash your blood, mighty God. Dash your blood, daddy. Dash your blood. 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 Through this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's your fire, your fire, your fire, your fire, your fire. Jesus Christ. Father, your fire will engulf this atmosphere. Jesus, mighty Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ this morning that Lord God, you will have your way, you will take charge of the service, mighty Father, and every Jesus Christ, Father, Jesus, Jesus, brother, oh Jesus, oh, brother, brother Tony, Jesus. brother Tony. Come Jesus, 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 Hallelujah! Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we put your woman servant before you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Father God, that your fire, mighty God, will engulf her in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll cover her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, mighty God. I pray, Father God, that you will touch every organ within her body, mighty Father. I pray to you, Almighty God, that she, Lord God, will only release your word. Lord, Lord God, Father God, the voice that comes out of her today in the name of Jesus Christ will be your voice, mighty God. She will just make herself available as a vessel, mighty God, to speak your word, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord God, that you will. Set her ablaze. Set her on fire for you, mighty morning. God. I pray, Father, Father pray, God, that we surround her with your holy spirit. angels, with your warrior angels in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Her, Father, God. you are blessed. You have anointed her for the journey. And my God, in the name of Jesus Holy Christ, Ghost. I pray that you will keep her strong. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to sustain her, Lord God. Father, I pray right now, Father, for a covering, Lord God. For a covering mighty Hallelujah. God Look that God. is like no other, a covering mighty God that cannot be penetrated, a covering mighty God Lord, that no, no force of evil can reach down their hands to touch in the name of Jesus Christ. Engulf her in your fire, mighty God, that when she walk, mighty God, into some places. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God's spirits, Lord, that are not of you will begin to dry up. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit will begin to come under subjection. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Father God, that right now, Lord God, drop your word in her. In the name of Jesus Christ, drop your word, Lord God, for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, have your way. As we put her into your hands, mighty God, we glorify your name. We honor you, Lord God. We thank you for her, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that you will touch her mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, have your way. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Glory Somebody to God. Somebody clap for Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. Don't move. Come closer. Don't move. Stay right there. Hallelujah. It is well. You, you, can, you can take your seat. Sister Babbitt, follow me. Come with me, Sister Babbitt. Sister Lisa, come follow me. Yeah, I don't want you to knock me. Come. Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Your mom? Jesus. How are you? Hallelujah. Welcome. Jesus. What happened with him seven years ago? We just saw him. Yes. Two thousand seventeen. What happened to him? Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Bring a mic for me. Tell them what happened to your son seven years ago. Be honest. 2017 was when we leave Jamaica and transition into America. Somebody clap for Jesus. But um, the filing came through for um, three of us, and his paper was old up. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord bring back to my spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a prior mother. Mm -hmm. I have a mother, a prior mother. Go ahead. And I called her and I said, listen, the money that opened this door came through him, and I refuse for the enemy to hold him back. He has to come with me. And I wrap in sackcloth and ashes and I go before God and I say, God, I refuse to leave any one of my sons behind because they're coming with me. And I call back the embassy and when I call the embassy, the lady said, his interview is Monday, that was the Friday. Haven't it been for the grace of God and determination of prior, you would not be in the U.S. today. And he passed the age that the papers would be rejected. But because I know my God and the God that I serve is here today. When was the last time you wrapped yourself in sackcloth and ashes? <sighs> Look at me. Talk to me. It has been a journey. <laughs> Look at me. Your ministry, put your bag on. Your ministry shut down. <clears throat> and um, you know this one different. In barn different, you get pregnant with him different. Everything mm -hmm. about him different. Stand up. Stand up. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. 
um, what happened? <laughs> what happened? I, it was like a few days ago, I was having this conversation with God. I have two sons, mm -hmm. my two last son, Adonijah, God named him, and Elijah. I came to America, and when I came here, <laughs> let's just say the buckle became more real than it was in Jamaica. Was there an auntie involved in Jamaica? There was always, <laughs> I was always in the middle of mothers oh, in Jamaica. Jesus. I was birthed in Jamaica Evangelistic Association. My Bishop is Reverend Dr. V.T. Williams. He passed away recently. And I was having the conversation with God, and it was the same thing, unforgiveness. I got up this morning and I said to my son, I have a, bunch, a whole bunch of kids. When I say kids, a whole lot of them. And there's one of them that did something that I was talking to him about this morning. And I said, I vision saw in him telling you that I have not forgiven him. I have forgiven him. And it was the same thing that when I stepped through the door, my son, <laughs> it's, 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 it's been a journey. But when I saw Tony this morning, it bring me back to a place. He is Brother Malcolm in church. Oh, sorry, Brother Malcolm. When I saw him this morning and I saw him under that prayer shawl, it brings back where I'm coming from. Because you're naked. Yes. I gave him my shawl. And when I saw him this morning. With a new one. With a shawl, I'm like, it just brings me back to the place that, listen. Okay. It's, so it's now, been... <laughs> I asked you a question I need to answer. Was there an auntie involved in Jamaica? Yes. Okay. Or you can sit down. We're going to have to pray for your son because his spirit is sleeping. You know, you see why we couldn't pray for, your, for him last week? Brother Malcolm, you know what she said? You hear what she, she Did you, you we, the people in the front didn't hear you. Come, you have to repent. Come. And, and why are you wearing this ring? Why are you wearing this on your finger? Um, my husband gave this to me. Okay. Where is he? He's right there. Okay. Is he wearing a ring? Yes, he is. Okay. So this is not a wedding ring. No, it's not. So why are you wearing this and you're married? Because Look at me. He gave this to me as a promise. To marry you? And we got married. And no, without the ring. Without the ring, so I kept this one. Is it blessed? No. You don't need this on your finger. Come, sir. Your son will never marry unless you bless him. Unless you do things right. Face them, sir. What a nice looking couple. Clap for them. God bless them. This man not only look good, but he's a good man. Look at me. He's a good man. I'm not talking to you, sir. I'm talking to you. He's a good man, right? Tell them. She find a good man. God put That's them God together. God. This man, he have a heart of gold. Jesus. You see, when you're walking, you got convicted. You should have been here a long time ago, but you couldn't feel what's here. God will not allow you to feel it because you like to look out of your third eye. But when you look out of your third eye, you couldn't see El Shaddai. Am I lying? No, you're not. I said the same thing 
to my son. When she looked in the spirit, she couldn't see me. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not regular. I'm a woman of God. And I speak the truth. And that's what makes me not regular. Brother Rebo, the Lord said I should tell her, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid because you're sitting here, but you're nervous. Don't be afraid. God said he would never use me to disgrace you in public. You know what I'm talking about. God said I should tell you this. Don't be afraid. It is well. But you have to do a fasting. From this day onward till you leave this country, you better be on fasting. And this is a warning. You see, God don't make no mistakes. You had to be here today. You know this, I'm talking to you and I go to him. And I'm coming back to you. Because you need to get married the right way. So your children can be blessed. Especially this one because God is calling him. Amen. Especially this one. But his spirit is dormant. And you have to release him. Amen. She knows. She knows she has to release the man. You better release him today. Put some oil in this thing. We're going to pray for you. And then you're going to have to release your son. Give me the microphone. You don't need it. Hold this, boss. I want everyone to stretch. Release your hands, woman of God. Woman of God, release your hands. You're going to repent, and then we're going to pray for you. Ask God for forgiveness. You need to start live married life uh, because deep down inside you have been held back. I'm not here to cause family problems, but you have to release that auntie. You have to separate yourself and your children from that woman. My God, you have to cut that string today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have to cut it off. Jesus, mighty God, release your daughter today, oh God. Yeah, My God, come. Stand right with me, Jesus. My God, stand right with me. Stand 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 with me. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rendolo Boko Soto. Rakate de Beke Sete. Yeba da 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 kasata. Baya la bade de Kesate. Boko Soto. Jesus. Jesus. Ma ba de de Kesete de Beko Sata. Go back to that place. 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 
back to that place 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 roba de ke sata makosha sata daba madoro ko soto bekete roba ya 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 back to that place back to that place me de be 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 ke sete roda baba ya de de ke saya hey ye be 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 ke sato jesus my god my god my god my god my god e ke te de be ke sete e ko soto e ka sata da baba wo le mai ka a ka sate de be ka sata ya hey me be 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 ke sete ya jesus hey raba ka sata riba usan ro ba usia makando ri ya ka sata re ko raba Soto release yourself woman of god release yourself hey 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 oriba shakaya mando oriba sokoto oriba shakaya oriba kasoto baba baba kosata yala da 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 kasete e me 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 kesete jesus jesus Everybody be in the spirit. Hey, be in the spirit. Oh, riba sakura ba. Mai oriba. Reko ya shakata. Mando ribia ndaya. Reko ribia kesete. Reko kasata. E kesete kashatato. Ye ba de kesete. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Woko todo boko se ba ba ba. Lata ba 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 ko soto. Ayanda kasata. Ye ke te de be ke seto. Oko todo boko sata. Ye be 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 ke sato. Come come take off our shoes. Jesus. Lata kasata. Lato to soto. Rodo bo bo bo. Yes Jesus Yes Jesus Yes Jesus E ba ya da 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 kasata Oh God Holy Ghost take charge Holy Ghost take charge Holy Ghost take charge Holy Ghost take charge Hey 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 Be ke se Mando robanga Ricorda ba Orendo Anoint your son today. Drop that. Anoint your son today. Dip your hand. Alibi kasata ya. Anoint him today. Release him today. Release your picnic today. Woman of God, release your picnic today. Lemo kosho soto. Reke te de be kasata. Baka te de be kesato. Jesus Raya 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 Oh Yeah Jesus Have your way oh Lord Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost My God Jesus 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 Do it for them Lord Do it for them Lord Do it for them Jesus Do it for them Jesus Yebe debe 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 de kosoto rakata da bakasata ya bakosoto do boko segete ya makata de be kasato Baladi di kesato, radna la bakasate ya, 
It is spiritual fear. Rakiti Kasata. Rekete de Beke Soto. Bakendele be make fire. Baya de Beke Sata. Lati Kandala Bako Seke. Bebe be Aribi Kasato. Yebe de Kesataya. Yes, Jesus. 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 Hey, Jesus. Bless him, oh God. All his steps, Lord God. Touch him in a special way. Hey! Jesus. 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 Maya Didike Sete. Oh, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hey! Yes, Jesus. Yele bebe bebe beke sata. Rede bebe biyako soto. Manta kashete beke sata. In the name of Jesus. Hey, ababababa kasete. Oko sho soto. Rakatatatatatatata. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap for Jesus. Let us pray for their marriage. You see, certain things couldn't happen unless she blessed her son. Let us pray for their marriage. She said they have been married without even a ring. Let us ask God for divine union in their home. In the name of Jesus Christ. When was the last time you guys take a vacation? Never. No, because your marriage is not blessed. You see, we thank God for the God of El Shaddai. You see why you're stuck? Because of this. If your mother is going to, even though she's married, she's not living like she, she's not happily married. And she's married because it's spiritual. You release that anti out of your house, out of your life, out of your children's life. Cut it off with a big scissors in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So stretch forth your hands and pray for their marriage. One day they will come and, and do the right thing. Amen. Stretch your hand towards them and pray. Any one of you here that want to get married, or if you're already married, ask God to bless them so you can get that blessing that comes with marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be jealous of them. Pray for them. Don't be jealous. I hear the Lord say jealousy. Don't be jealous. Pray for them. Open your mouth and ask God to bless them. Robody I kiss it here. Ratabakasato. Ready, be kissed. Mata kasata. Mata ta 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 ta. Jesus. 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 Bless them, O oh God. Bless them, O oh God. Do it in their marriage, Lord. Open doors for them, mighty God. So they can take vacation. So they can go to five star and be blessed. And enjoy each other's company. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is done. Amen. Amen. And amen. So I, I, I don't know if it was on video because our video business is not doing so well. But the Lord wanted me to pray for him Sunday. But when I opened my mouth, the Lord said, you have to be here. And this is why. 
we would have never known. And he don't know these things that you're telling us. You understand me? That you're telling the church. So by you, do, you know, the Lord said he's going to dress you from now on. You're a woman of God. And he's going to put you together his way. Amen. And don't worry. Nobody, look at me. Nobody cannot destroy your marriage. No one. So don't worry about your husband. He's fine. God have him. It's you. Fix up yourself and get ready for your ministry. Hallelujah. Hear me? Woman of God, you have work to do. You have work to do. You have work to do. And it's not about you. You cannot do it on your own. You don't have a ministry where you work on your own. Your ministry is not an independent ministry. You see, us black people, we like to think that it's all about us. And we'll be selfish with it, but it's not. You see, a ministry is a group of people come together. That Amen. God called from the east, the west, the north, and south. Amen. Because everyone has something different to offer to the church. To edify the church. You realize that this woman is an intercessor? Hallelujah. You see why God wants you up here this morning? All right? Hallelujah. You can take your seat. You can take your seat. Let, let, let us stretch forth your hand to brother Andre. Because he have to work in El Shaddai. No matter what the devil is doing in Jamaica. We fire every demon. Every obia. Every witchcraft. Every sorcery spirit. Every black magic. It doesn't matter what they study. It can't catch him. I'm here to tell you. They might take out some people that was weak. But they won't catch this one. In the name of Jesus. We cover him in the blood. We cover him in the blood. And we call forth his ministry. He have to birth it out. Mighty God. Jesus. Jesus, 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 hey, 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 Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You see, according to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 44, it says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So today we're going to pray for our enemies. You see, sometimes people don't even mess with us, but we just despise them because of where they're going and what they have and what they're doing and where they look. When I heard about Medusa, I thought it was a ugly woman. But when I went to Florence, Italy, and I saw her statue, she was one of the most beautiful women in Italy. And she lost her life because of the way she looked. Did you know that you can lose a life because of how you look? Yes. <laughs> the woman lost her life because she was beautiful. And she attracted a different group of people. When you have a certain look, you attract a different... Boss, am I lying? Yes? It's true. When you have a certain look, you don't 
attract certain people, they will like you. But you're not, a, you know, the other day, the Lord revealed to me that he created my daughter to attract wealth. And I was crying. And the things that God began to say to me, I said, but I cannot tell my daughter that because she's, she's going to hate me. And one day she called me, she was angry. And I began to tell her what God said. She said, mommy, it's true. What took you so long? So you see, hey, Jesus. The way you look can cause people to spend money to kill you. It can cause people to starve, fasting, put them in prayer just to destroy you. So the word of God said we should, you can take your seat, sir. We should love, take your mother. Okay, you, we should love our enemies. And those that come up after us, we should love them too. Amen. You see, God of the final word. Amen. I was here last week, Sunday, and I, I couldn't. I, I, all I heard was noise. They were singing and it was noise. Because the Holy Spirit was angry of what was about to come. And my, I couldn't talk. I was just mad. So let me tell the people of God, especially that you, that God bless your vocal cord to sing. Don't come in here in your flesh. It made me want to fight you. You know it. It made me want to fight people when they're in their flesh making noise. Because the word of God don't lie. Amen. We got to be in the spirit because God is a spirit. Amen. So let us pray right now. Many of us, some people hurt us. And we're still holding it. Some people are doing bad things because... There's this one person that they need to forgive. And this one person that they cannot forgive is causing them to go in around and hurt other people. Hallelujah. So let us ask God. Let us ask God. The word said, but I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Them people will curse you, but you have to bless them. Don't be mad at people when they curse you. There was a man that cursed David and David could not even say a word. The man even stoned David and he was a king. And David didn't say anything, but when Solomon was about to take the chair, David said, that man cursed me. You deal with him. So there are some things that we have to leave to God. Amen. Amen. There are some things that we, 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 we better leave it alone. David was a king. The Bible said, when the man cursed him and stoned him and called him dirty boy, dirty David. Because when you, I understand back in the day when you stoned somebody, it's a curse. When David picked up the stone to shoot the king, what did the king say? Am I a dog? So when the man was stoning David, he saw David as a dog. So when it was time for David to slay Saul, him king Saul, Goliath, it was the one. You see, it's a curse when somebody, because it's on the ground, to pick it up from the ground and hit you with it. It's not only when you hang in a tree, it's a curse. When someone threw a stone after you back then. So I'm here to let you know, many times we see people do things and we don't understand the meaning of it. It's spiritual. So let us go to God right now and ask him to bless our enemies. The Bible says bless them. They curse you. Bless them. Lord, bless our enemies. Bless those who curse us. Bless those who come up against us. Bless them, oh God. Bless those who hate us. Today we are praying for the ones that are talking bad about us. Those who are making bad statements. Those who badmouth us. Oh God, today we put them before you and we ask you to elevate them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come before you today, oh God. And we ask you today, mighty God, those who speak ill against this ministry, mighty God, we ask you to bless them. You said we should bless those who curse us, bless those who use us. We should do good unto others. Today we ask you, Holy Ghost, to do good unto them that hate us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth yes we have to we have to hebe de kosaya mata karebe kosataya 
Mandara da Cosete Madili Bicasata Yebede Cesete Rocoto do Boco Soto Alla da da Baca Sataya Bible remind us God gave us commandment that we should follow. He said, Love thy neighbor as thyself. There are times when we have to go into war and chop up some things, but it's spiritual. Amen. But in your physical life, don't hurt people. You cannot say you love God and you pray for God to kill other people. You cannot say you love God and you destroy other people's life. You cannot say you love God and you destroy other people's marriage. It's not godly. Forgiveness is love. This is why we have an altar where you can come and empty yourself and be renewed. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. You see, when somebody leaves a ministry, don't get mad at them. When people pack up and leave, don't get mad at them. When, when you used to go to a church and they see you on the street, say hi. Be nice. Don't, don't, don't show anger. Show them love. Amen. Use encouraging words to people when they leave the church. Wish them all the best in life. Amen. Only an occult bad mouth you when you leave a church. Only an occult speak against you when you leave a church. I say this loud. May the Lord bless those who speak against you when you left their church. May the Lord bless those that are speaking against you because you leave and you go to a different church. God will work it out. Amen. Don't try to manipulate people with scriptures. Leave them alone. Sometimes God moved them to save you. Amen. Sometimes God moved them so you can birth out what's in you. Amen. 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 And we will never lift up anyone in this ministry that God didn't give us authority to do. Amen. We will never... El Shaddai will never esteem anyone that God did not permit. Not everyone that God sent here. Sometimes God sent people here to expose them. Wow. Hey! Hallelujah. Not everyone in church is led by the Spirit. According to Romans chapter 8, 14, it says, For as many are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. And I'm going to ask you to sit, but I'm going to ask you to stand up back in a minute because the word of God tells us in the book of Job chapter 1, it said there was a day when the people come to pray, when the sons of God came to present themselves before God. Most, most of the time when you present yourself before God is because you're fasting and in prayer. Woman of God said she presented her herself before God in sackcloth and ashes, and God moved the same week. Amen. Somebody clap for Jesus. Amen. When you are serious about God's business, God will be serious about your business. This means that the devil show up in any church. Amen. Not everyone in church is a saint. Remember, Judas was right there next to Jesus. He was in training to become an apostle. It was after Judas died and they received that elevation and be called apostle. That's what Peter said. That was Peter's argument. So we have to understand that not our leaders are ready to lead. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey! Not all leaders are ready to step up to the plate and do the work of God because the flesh is still holding them back. Amen. Now we're going to pray. You know, let us just thank God for his love. Let us just thank God for his love. We're going to pray. Father, we thank you for your love. Your love, your unfailing love. 
Oh God, we thank you for your love. Jesus. We thank you for your love, Jesus. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. Whatever you are doing for us, Lord God, is love. When you use us to be a blessing to others, is love. When you use us to give someone a ride, is love, Lord God. When you use us to give someone a meal, is love, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, to use us. It is your love that has been shed up that we are able to bring you the word bring the word to your people so we thank you for your love Jesus hey Hold this. follow me I want you to bless his hands you see when we were we were praying with the couple right here um, the Lord revealed to me that he called Brother Clive to lay hands on people. Brother Clive wanted to lay a hand upon the woman. Brother Clive, am I lying? I'm lying? Brother Clive, didn't you get the urge to lay a hand upon the woman when she was praying? I'm telling you, people of God, sometimes when the Spirit of God moves, you have to just move with it. The Word of God was coming, and the Bible showed me. The Word showed me, but when I look at Brother Clive, I saw the man's hand. He was, hey, Jesus. Somebody, hey, let us pray for Brother Clive. You see, I'm here standing, but I'm not one place. I'm everywhere. I'm paying attention to everything. The Bible said God is omniscient and is omnipresent. And when the Spirit of God is upon you, you can be everywhere at the same time. Because it's not flesh. It, it's God. Reach up to God this morning. Raise your hand up to God. And we ask him to bless your right hand. Mighty God, bless this man's hand, oh God. So when he lay it, mighty God, healing will come forth. When he lay hands, mighty God, the deaf will hear. When he lay hands, oh God, the dumb will speak. When he lay hands, oh Heavenly Father, those that are sick will rise up and take up their bed and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He didn't realize... He didn't realize what he was doing because it was not him. It was the spirit of God that is upon the man. Yeah, Jesus, my Lord. Amen. God bless you. Somebody clap for Brother Clive. You see, this is what... Let me tell you something. When you know the word of God, you're not supposed to go to hell. Amen. You have to live the life. So I pray that the scripture will begin to manifest in life, in your life, in the name of Jesus. In everyone that's in this room, I pray for the Hobako satire. I pray for the scriptures begin to take root in your life. According to 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and 14, the word said, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves. And do what? If my people which are called by my name should humble. You see the word said if my people. Meaning that you. Who call yourself a believer. Should humble. It means that many of us are believers. Are we not humble? So today we're going to ask God to humble us. Today we're going to pray. The word said humble and pray. This is why people were praying. But they didn't really repent. Because they are not humble. People need humility. It's not easy. We come from a place that is hot-blooded. And it's still in our blood. For certain people can't talk to us. Some man said a woman can't come preach to me. Because women have period. But I tell you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus come out of a woman. We're going to pray. He said if my people which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. And turn. So you see there are some Christians that are wicked. Turn from their wicked ways. That means there are some Christians who are living in sin. It said then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. And I will heal their land. Some of us are living on land that is not blessed. 
And it causes us to live in sin. Because if you live in a place that's cursed. <laughs> the devil is rampant everywhere. If you live in a cursed place. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hallelujah. So this morning we're going to go to God. And we're going to ask him. The Bible said turn. 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 Yes. I want everyone to turn this morning. Just turn. Just turn. Turn. Turn because we are going to pray. Turn. The word said, if you say you don't sin, you are a liar. You're calling God a liar and the truth is not in you. So I'm here to tell you, it's time to turn. Sometimes we don't say the thing, but it's in our heart. Let us pray. And ask God one more time to forgive us from the thoughts. You see, the word of God is reminding us that we, 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 we sin knowingly and unknowingly. Amen. So let us ask God to forgive us for the things that we think about. That we didn't, it didn't happen, but it's in our heart. The, there were some things that in the heart of, of Jacob. You see, Jacob has some sons and one was a prophet. He had the gift of wisdom. And knowledge and when the boy get dreams and he go and he tell them Jacob the Bible said Jacob say hold on you want me to look up to you you say me, my, your mother and myself is gonna look up to you wait a minute but then deep down the word of God said he kept it in his heart because he know it's the truth Amen. when God told Mary who Jesus was going to be Mary never tell anybody she kept that secret in her heart there are some things that's in our heart yes. and many people die with it yes. oh god but today we're gonna pour out before god Amen. we're gonna pour out before god let us ask god to give us a heart of flesh 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 let us ask God to give us. You see, David said, create in me a clean heart and give me a right spirit. So some people have a wrong spirit. Yes. Jesus. Some people have. But you see, Brother Malcolm was, was, was preaching. He was not teaching. He was preaching today. I was talking about the heart. What's going on in people. This morning, we're going to ask God. Oh, God. Oh God. Today, we come before you. We and we're asking you yeah. to give us a heart of flesh. A heart of flesh. A heart of understanding. You see some people do not understand the things that they are doing. That's why they do it. So we are asking God today to create in us a clean heart. And restore the right spirit. Because many times we have the wrong spirit. This is why God said the whole church have to repent. I had to repent. Because I had some things in my heart. I wanted to do something that I've never done before. I wanted to kill. Why? Because something happened in my family. And it grieved my spirit. So I have to go to God and I said, God, forgive me. Take that spirit from me. I'm not going back to jail. No police not going to tell me to walk fast. No police not going to come put and cuff on me. I wanted to get physical. But when I catch myself, the Holy Spirit begins to remind me. He said, no matter how you feel, Sunday morning you have to bring the word. So repent. So I had to repent. I'm angry. And I'm not asking God why. It's not my business. It's not my place to ask any question. But I know a God. The Bible said, my Redeemer lives. Amen. And the one who I look to, he holds tomorrow. Amen. 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 Many times we purpose things and it's not godly. And now we need a heart of understanding. Let us thank to God. Talk to God at this hour. One woman said to me, Rev, I was going to go into the house and kill the woman that my husband is sleeping with. But then when I remember some things, I just go home. So this morning, let us go to God. Hey! Hallelujah. The heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. Father, this morning we come to you, oh God, and we ask you to create in us a clean heart. 
Give us a clean heart. Give us the right spirit. Give us a clean heart and a right spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Give us a clean heart this morning, Daddy Jesus. You know what we are going through. You said trouble will come. You said trouble will come, my God. You said many of the times we will be afflicted. But you will be there to carry us through. Jesus, we need you now. We need you now. Mighty God, give us the right spirit. Give us a clean heart so we can do what's right. So you will get glory out of our life. Jesus, take glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you, I want everyone to be on your feet. Ephesians chapter 6, it tells us in verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Put on the whole armor of God. We are going to fight some warfare today. So be in the mood. Put on the whole armor. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand up against the wiles of them that come against the wolves, the devil. Move like a soldier today. Be in the spirit and get ready for war. Hallelujah. Hey, move like a soldier. Everybody come out of your seat. Hallelujah. Move out of your seat. Hey, Labad, they can't sit there. Move out of your seat. Jesus. You see, according to 2 Chronicles 7 14, it says, For the weapons. No, 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 no. 2 Corinthians 10 3 to 5, it says, For we walk, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after flesh. So this is not a flesh thing. For the weapons of our warfare, it's not flesh. The word carnal means flesh. But it's mighty true God to pull him down of some strong wall. Cast down imagination. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And bring it on our foot. And hold it down captive. Ebede ko sataya. So today we pull down every strong wall. Every strong wall against me. Every strong wall against the ministry. Today we pull it down. Every strong wall against your marriage. Every strong wall against your children. I want you to open your mouth and pull it down. Pull it down. Every strong wall. Everything that the enemy is doing to hold your back. Every strong wall. I want you to pull it down today. Pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rebe be 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 ke sete bakata da bako saya lebe de be de be kosoto makande lebe be yakasato. We pull down every strong wall against the ministry, against the children. We pull down every strong wall against your business, against your marriage. We pull it down. We pull it down. We pull down every strong wall. Every strong wall. We pull it down. We pull down every strong wall. We pull down every strong wall. Everything that they set up against us, uh, we pull it down. We pull it down. We pull it down. We pull it down. Everything that they try to do to our children, we pull it down. Everything that they set up against our marriage, we pull it down. Everything that they set up against our money, we pull it down. We pull it down. We pull it down. Everything that was set up against our business, we're pulling it down. We are 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 pulling it down. Pull 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 it down. We make us so Pull it down. 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 
down. Pull it down. Oh, Koshe Sete Debe. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Mabari Kasata. Rabada Baba Kosata. Roko Todolobo Kosata. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull down everything against this ministry. Pull it down. Everything that they lift up against El Chadai. We are pulling it down. We are pulling it down. We use the sword and we pull it down. We chop it down. We chop it down. We chop it down. We pull it down. We pull it down. We pull it down. Everything against your ministry. We pull it down. We pull it down. We bring it down. We bring it down. Everything that they are trying to do against me. We pull it down. We pull it down. We make a set. We pull it down. We pull it down. We pull down them their plans. Everything that they are doing against their children. We pull it down. Everything they are doing against my children. I pull it down. I bring it down. I bring it down. I bring it down. Mighty God. Everything that they are doing against my finances. I pull it down right now. I pull it down by the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything that the enemy is work using to work against my finance. I pull it down. I pull it down. I pull it down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, we pull it down. We pull it down. Hey. 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 We pull it down. We pull it down. Whatever you're doing against my life, uh, whatever you're doing against El Shaddai, I pull it down right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. We pull it down by the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever they're doing against your life, it's time to pull it down. It's time to bring it down. Mighty God, bring it down by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hey! Bring it down. Pull it down. Bring it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it down. We pull it down. Anything, anything, everything that they did to slow us down, we pull it down. We uproot it. We uproot it. Every place. Only a big satire. Every place that they plant us, they plant our picture. Every evil altar that they put your name on, that they put your children on. We set fire to it. We set fire to it. We make a sata. We set the fire of God to every evil altar that they place our name, our children's name, the ministry, our finances. We send fire right now. Somebody say fire. 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 We set the fire of God to pull it down and destroy it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. You see, the word of God said, we cast down every imagination and every eye thing. Some people, they come to El Shaddai and they didn't understand the word El Shaddai, what it meant. El Shaddai mean Almighty God. <laughs> El Shaddai mean Almighty God. That's the name of this ministry. 
and he's not dead. We don't serve dead God. Amen. So right now we're going to cast. We're going to cast down the thoughts. Imagination means you're thinking. So those who are thinking negative against you and your family. Against your marriage. I'm not even going to say family. Family is a big umbrella. Those who are coming up after you. I want you to pray for yourself. Those who are coming up after you. Or those who are trying. You know there are some people that will pray with you. But they are still praying against you. Like a big gun shot. Where the big gun? Your Mazuka? Or M9? No, no, no. There's one big on 16. Where the biggest one? Name? The cannon gun? Yes. Wait, name? That's the one. Ah. So today I want you to hold it. Hold it. Hold your finger like you're ready to shoot. Lord Jesus. Hey! Hey! Get ready! Listen, for those of you that are watching, get ready. Because we are going to shoot out everything that is in our house. Everything, even your name, you're going to shoot your name out of some people's phone. Some text message that have been sent in the last couple of days with your name in it. Today we're going to ratatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
of even those that are saying that they are with you that not. Hallelujah. Some people say that they are with us and they are not. And God is getting ready to expose them. Hallelujah. So right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bring into captivity everyone that is fighting us secretly and publicly. Hey, 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 hey. Secretly and publicly. We bring it down. We bring them down into captivity right now. We bring them down right now. Those secret enemies. Many of us, we have some secret enemy. They still want to laugh in our face. They still want to smile. But right now we arrest them and put them into captivity. And we stand on their neck in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bring them down. We bring them down. And we render them powerless. Somebody say powerless. We render them powerless. 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 But it doesn't matter. You see, somebody you're in this room. But you, you, there's a man of God fighting you. I'm a pastor. And men and women of God have been fighting me before I became a pastor. So nothing is new. I'm prepared. But there is somebody in this room. A woman you're in this room. And there's a man of God. That is fighting you. And you didn't, hurt, you didn't, you didn't do any offense to him. All because somebody went to the man of God with her name. But today, you see this gun? Hey, cause raise up your hand. You know yourself. Raise up your hand. We shoot them down right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Rabbi Deco We shot them down right now. You're in this room. Maya Didika Sataya. And we shoot you down right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. You better repent. Somebody bet somebody say you better repent. You better, you repent. better, you, better you better repent. You see, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7, it says, The Lord shall cause thine enemies to rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. So when people come up against you, don't get mad. Get glad. When some people come up against you, it's for hey, yes, somebody say yes, yes, tell them come. When some people rise against you, God do it so you can watch them feel, you can watch them fall. The word said, The Lord shall cause your enemy to rise against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee. We're going to pray. Oh Lord, smite them before my face. Oh Lord, smite them before my face. You see, remember, I know we already repent. So we're on the straight and narrow path. So if you're here and you're praying this prayer, I didn't repent, you're in trouble because God is not going to answer your prayer because you never repent. Amen. That's why we have to repent. So God can work for us. Amen. So when we pray like this, we are putting, we are assigning angels to war on our behalf. We are sending Michael. We are sending Gabriel. We are calling out some bad angel to go and fight. Yes. Oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you this today. Smite them before my face. Smite them. Be you see, I, ho I hope you can manage. You really ask God for because you can't ask God to smite them before you. And when things happen, you, 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 you act funny. Listen, I hope you know what you're saying to God. Earlier I hear Brother Malcolm said, sing the song, ask God to put fire upon your enemies. Amen. No, we're at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey! Smite them for my face. So now, 
your job is to get into prayer and call your names to God. We're not praying any wicked prayer. We just put some people before God. You know who is fighting you secretly. It could be the ex from the person that you used to be with. It could be your current spouse ex fighting you. Yes. So today we're going to go to God. Be specific with God. We're going to pray. I want everyone to open their mouth and pray to God. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. You know them. But today I'm reminding you who they are. Every enemy of El Shaddai will be smitten before my face. Will be, hey Jesus, I want you to open your mouth and pray. Oh God, we come before you right now and we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to smite them. You know my enemies and Lord God, I'm going to in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I put la bari kasete keshe seta in the name. Jesus, oh God, I come before you and I call my four children name before you, Lord God. Those who are fighting my children right now, mighty God, smite them before their faces. Smite them before their faces. You see, there are some people that will dominate you. They come around you. They pretend that they are into you and they are secretly praying and dominating and trying to control you. So we're asking God to smite them. We're asking God to expose them. Those who are praying in secret against your prayer. The Bible tells you that there are some people that are praying against your prayer. And right now we're asking God to expose them. We're asking God to smite them. Smite them, oh God. Smite those that are fighting against my children. Smite those that are fighting against my home. Smite those that are fighting against El Shaddai. Smite those that are fighting against the members. Smite those that are fighting against my finances. Smite them, oh God. Smanda da be koraba ko sataya. Rakota da ba ko soto. Rebobobo ko saya. Smite them that are fighting against my marriage. Smite them that are fighting against my children's marriage. Smite them. Smite them, oh God. Smite them that are conspiring against me. Smite them, oh God. I leave them to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see, if you stay here, whether you're watching or, or you're in the, this room, and you're saying that you're not praying the prayer because you don't have any enemies, it means that you are the devil. If you refuse to pray against the things that are happening, you're the devil. There is a word in the book of Hosea, chapter 9 and verse 14. It says, give them, O Lord, what, thou, what wilt thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. There are some people coming up against a relationship thing they can take over. But what they're going to come up with is a dry breast. What some of them are come up with is a, a dead womb. I come this hour to live because I, Oh God, give them a dead womb and dry breast. Those are satire. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Because there are some people secretly fighting. And I'm here to tell you what they will end up with is a dead womb and dry breast. They will never be able able to entertain your spouse they will never they will never destroy your relationship the word said give them a miscarried womb so they will never birth out nothing some people think that they win 
But this is what they're going to end up with. I miss carrying woman some dry breasts. Lord of mercy according to Hosea chapter 9. If it is in the Bible, then it is the word of God. Somebody say, if it's in the Bible, it is the word of God. If it is in the Bible, it is the word of God. And today, those that are fighting me will end up with a miscarrying womb and dry breast. A miscarrying womb and dry breast. Abade kosato, rakatadaba kosaya. Open them out and pray. Those that are fighting you secretly, it doesn't matter who they are. Any ministry that's coming up against you, today it's altar to altar. Today it's altar to altar. Today it's altar to altar. They will end up with dry breasts. They will end up with a miscarrying womb. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, it is the word of God. Somebody said they will never be a fruit. They will never be a fruit. And whatever they already have, it will be destroyed by thunder by fire. By thunder by fire. Let them come. Let them come because they are coming to meet Jesus. Let them come because they are coming to meet Jesus and his angels. Let them come. They are coming to meet Jesus and his angels. Amen. You see, it's the first Sunday of the month. And we have to pray. You cannot go through the month without prayer. You have to set the stage. Sometimes many people see people successful and they don't understand it's prayer. It's not looks. And this is why some of the celebrity people accuse them of going to witch practice witchcraft because they didn't get it from God. It's witchcraft makes some people famous. Amen. And that's why some of them died tragic. Yes. yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody clap for Jesus. <laughs> We're going to pray this prayer. We're almost done. They will never bear fruit. You see, those that are fighting against you will never bear fruit. You see, if you tie up a goat or if you tie a cow right here, you're not going to go too far because you're going to always come back to see if the cow dead. Am I lying? Or to see if somebody released the cow. So you see, when somebody tries to dominate you or hurt you, they're going to stay close because they want to know the outcome. Yes. Not everybody that's around you is with you. Not everybody that laugh with you is, is laughing. I'm here to let you know that there will never be a fruit. Those that are waiting for your downfall, there will never be a fruit. There's a scripture in the book of Micah, Lord Jesus. Micah chapter 7. It says, therefore, I will look unto the Lord I will wait for the, for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O oh my enemies. When I fall, I shall rise again. When I sit in darkness, oh, the Lord shall be a light unto me. So those that are waiting for you to fall, I want you to say this prayer. Rejoice not against me. Oh my, oh my enemies rejoice not, rejoice not against, me. against me when I fall when I, fall, I, shall, I shall rise when I sit in the dark, in the, dark the, Lord the Lord shall be a light, be a light unto, me. unto me clap for yourself <laughs> this is Micah chapter 7 You see, let me tell you about God. I'm wrapping it up. I'm just going to stop right there at Hosea. God is a jealous God. And God don't like ugly. And sometimes a woman is pregnant and when she gives birth, God will allow this child to die. Because of the tribulation that was ahead.
because of the tribulation that was ahead. Thank you. That was ahead. So I want you to understand. Last week. Last week I was here. And I was mourning and I never knew why. But I want to say this. God is faithful. Amen. God is faithful. Amen. Today we call Brother Malcolm, come and read this for me, please. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we regret to announce that one of our members has died suddenly prematurely from a stroke to the left side in the hospital on Tuesday, May 28th. We will do our best to have a memorial service here at El Shaddai before the funeral in Jamaica. He was also a relative and uncle to a uh, pastor and her children. He got baptized in El Shaddai November 2023 uh, and was planning to get married in August, um, in August, on August 8th at 2 p.m. Uh, in Old Harbor Street, St. Catherine, Jamaica. You see, I'm, I'm here and I'm thankful to God. The Bible said we should love our enemies. He's not old. But today I stand here to say I forgive the person that prayed and fasted to kill him. God showed me everything. I forgive that person because what God is about to do is beyond me. I'm letting it go. Somebody say let it go. Let it go. I'm letting it go. Amen. Because more people are going to die. So I have to step out of the way. And that's all I have to say. Um, announcement. Somebody clap for Jesus. Amen. Uh, Ephesians 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high place. Amen. Amen. Today's announcement. Somebody clap for Jesus. Welcome to our prior marathon. Welcome to El Shaddai Prior International Inc. Another one on, of our Sunday service. May you never leave the way you came. If you are here and looking for a church home, please let us know. For all first time and second time visitors, please stand. Tell us your name and who invited you. Can somebody give her a mic, please? Thank you. Anthony Vasquez, I'm here with Alex. Welcome, and my Anthony. Wife, Venicia. Welcome. I'm Venicia Vasquez, here with my sons. Amen. And Alex. Welcome, amen. Can someone give them a visitor's card? Is there anything? Visitor's card? Thank you. Okay, all right. Church begins at 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Bible studies is on Monday to Thursday, online Zoom, and on Fridays, 6 p.m. here at the church grounds. 
Our fasting begins June 19th to the 21st. No meat, no seafood. Please remember your covenant seeds every third Sunday and your charity donations. Our Frangelism Bible study is every other Friday starting at 6 p.m. where we invite a friend, bring a snack or potluck and fellowship. Amen. The phone number is 860-634-8556. You can use Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, or you can also write a check to El Shaddai. Thank you all for visiting us today. And don't forget your prior shawl, anointing oils, El Shaddai t-shirt. Thank you all again for visiting us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus this morning. Did everyone enjoy service today? Yes. Are you feeling blessed? Yes. There is a scripture in the Bible um, where... Peter and the rest of his disciples return um, to the boat to catch fish, and Jesus ends up on the shore, and they hear a familiar voice telling them to put the net on the other side, and when they hear this instruction, Peter decides to jump out of the boat and to swim straight to meet Jesus. Amen? Amen. And when he gets there, Jesus tells him to take the fish out of the boat because there was already a fire there prepared for him, uh, for, for them to eat. Um, and in this uh, passage, after they eat, Jesus asks Peter uh, three times. He says, uh, Simon, do you love me? And Peter answers yes and he says, feed my lambs. And he says, Simon, do you love me? And he says, feed my sheep. Simon, do you love me? And by the third time, Peter gets um, angry uh, and says, yes. And when I was reading that scripture this morning, uh, pastor, uh, that's what the Holy Spirit told me to tell you. That's, that scripture is for you. Feed my sheep. Um, because when Peter had to follow after um, Jesus, uh, I think somewhere in that scripture, he's telling him that he doesn't, where God is leading him has nothing to do with him. And Peter asked Jesus, what about Judas? <laughs> and God tells him, what does that have to do with you? Amen? Amen? Amen. So can we please be on our feet as we get ready to close out our service? Pastor, take over this part. Amen. Let us let us pray. I know, no, not no grace, pray. You ready to go home? Tired? We have to pray. This is just the beginning of many, many more prayers to come. So let us just thank God for today. Father, we just want to thank you for today. We thank you for where we are. We thank you for where you are taking us. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that came and dwelt among us and dined with us today. Father, we just want to say we love you. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord God, for showing up. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you came and, and, and you showed up and you did what you had to do. 
We thank you for dwell among us. We thank you, Lord God, for everything that you gave us. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for open doors. We thank you for breakthrough. Lord, we just want to thank you for your love, your love, your unfailing love. Lord, we thank you that we were able to be here like this and to repent of our sins and our sinful ways. We thank you, Lord God, for those who repented. Remember them, oh God. Remember their desire. Remember their family. Remember their children. Remember their plans. Remember your plans that you have for them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for keeping us safe from the plans of the enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. You know, I just want to say this. I want everyone to pray for me. I'm traveling to just go and do charity work, and I need all the prayers because I, I don't have a lot of soldiers to travel with me. And I remember the last time I was there, when manifestation started, the people them start to run and leave me. So yeah, so I ask for prayers while I am away. Only two days, so pray my strength, amen. Because it is very, it is very satisfying and rewarding to do charity work. If you have never done it before, try it. And this is why we ask for charity donations we ask for money so we can go and feed people that are in need we don't ask for money to buy food from stop and shop to eat when we get there we use their stuff to give to the people that don't have no floor in their house don't have no electricity have no water the house is made of poor pure zinc those are the areas that we go and pray and be a blessing to them because they are God's people too. Amen. Amen. So you're sitting here in air condition and you go in your car in air condition and you go home to air condition. We're going to be out on the mission fields outdoor. Amen. So pray our strength. God bless you all. May your, son, may your Monday be blessed. May your Tuesday be blessed. May your Wednesday be blessed. May your Thursday be blessed. May your Friday be blessed. May your Saturday be blessed. May you come back Sunday with a Sunday with a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. We're finished.